Hi, my name is Kyle Harrell and today we set up mandatory profiles. Based on the previous video, which was creating roaming profiles, we will be changing the roaming profiles to mandatory profiles. Mandatory profiles are just profiles that every time the user logs on, they will have the same settings that are pre-configured for them. So any changes that they made while on the profile will not be saved when they come back when they log off and come back again so we will first start by in my computer on C drive I have created a pro profiles folder as seen before and there were three users that we created which was Janelle, Justin and Ron so today we'll be making Justin, which is a, a Roman profile, a mandatory profile. So we'll first start by logging on to the Windows XP client as Justin. When we log down, we have set permissions for that profile so that the admin and authenticated users can access it. So we first start by going and start control panel network and internet connections my network places entire network Microsoft Windows network the domain server and then profiles and now we'll be changing right click on Justin profile go to properties security and we'll add domain admins And we, will, and we will add domain admins and give them full control and we also add authenticated users but we won't give them full control And press apply and OK. Now we have access to the Justin folder from the server. So now we go to tools, folder options, view, and have to show the hidden files and folders. We also make sure that hide extensions are unchecked and high protected operating system files are unchecked. Press yes apply and OK. So now you can see all the files and folders inside the Justin Profiles folder. Now we have to configure the user so that it is changed from roaming profile to a mandatory profile. In order to do that we have to go on start, run and we have to go to the registry. So we type Edge, edit. Press OK. We will click on each key local machine with a file, load hive, and we will look for the Justin profiles folder inside of the profiles folder. And in that folder, we will select ntuser.dat and press open now they will be asking for a name for the hive you can choose any name I will name it mandatory press ok and I press plus sign my HP local machine and you see mandatory there click on mandatory right click on it and select permissions 
and then we'll add to me and Athens. and give them full control and we will remove restricted from on the list press apply ok and then we have to after we have committed that we have to unload the hive so we go to file unload hive and yes after you have done that you come out then you go back to the justin profile and the entity user that the ATI file we re rename it to that man so that it will change to, to mandatory choose yes and now this user account should be changed from roaming to mandatory so we will log off on the windows xp client and we will log back on as Justin and if we go to start right click on my computer properties advanced and under user profiles for the settings you can see that it's changed from roaming to mandatory so any changes made will not be saved if the user logs off and logs back on for example if you create a new folder create a text document and create an image and even change the desktop wallpaper if we have to log out and log back on it will go back to the pre-configured settings that was there before we created the mandatory profile we'll lock back on now and there you go that's how you set up a mandatory profile thanks for watching